Hey everyone, welcome to another foiled mail day video. All right, what do we get in the mail today? Some spicy things in there, I think. Let's get started with Save Triome. Pretty sure I'm saying that correctly. I really like this alternate Triome art for my Coria. All of them look great. If you are playing Triomes, this is the art you play. Uh, yeah, I just think you have to. Really enjoying this artwork. Kind of like the Pathway Lands, even though there's like normal pathway cards, like normal pathway framing. For me, when I think of Pathway Lands, I just think of the full art treatment. So for me, a Pathway Lands, the only ones that exist are the ones with their full art. I don't know if that's the same for you. The full Amendus is pretty cool. Really nice effect. Only getting one, because realistically you're only really going to be playing one in the deck. That's Save Triome. Up next, Cinder Vines at two. I had one missing. Needed one extra, so there we go. It's completing my set. And this one's a bit beat up, but that's okay. It's just Cinder Vines. I'm gonna guess. I don't remember what the cost is. I'm gonna guess it's like a buck. Maybe two bucks. Let's see if I'm wrong. I mean, you've already seen the price, so you know if I'm wrong or not. Interesting foiling. Good to see that it has selective foiling on there. So that's Cinder Vines. Up next, Aether Vial. An affordable version of Aether Vial. At least in foil. Very nice selective foiling there as well. As you can see, that's really cool. Really well done. Very well done. Very, very cool. Look at that. Scary. And it's Aether Vial. And I like this art. I really like this version of Aether Vial. So let's see all four, of course. And all that blue foiling as well. With a tinge of purple. Looks fantastic and shiny. Very cool. Up next, Avatar of the Resolute. Very hard to find this in foil, by the way. Lucky I found my four, but very hard to find in a foil. Also very nice selective foiling there. Again, very cool. From good old cons. So of course, got all four. Playset, next, Cloudfin Raptor. I got another card that for some reason was tricky to get in foil. But I got it. Very nice blue foiling, of course. Some purple in there as well. And nice selective foiling, as you can see. So most of the Cloudfin Raptor is not foil. That's always nice. I'm really a fan of foils that have selective foiling. Even the towers here... You know, unnecessary, but even some of the towers are not fully foiled, which is really cool. Usually the background art, you know, just kind of fades away. But not for this random common. <laughs> so that's always nice to see. I really want to know what their thinking is. Like, what's the criteria to say, okay, we're going to spend a bit more money or pay a bit more for this foiling to be different. Next, Strangle Root Geist. Very cool. I like how the Geist is completely foiled and the trees are not. This one's particularly scratched up, but that's okay. It's only an uncommon. Looks kind of scary and weird, right? There we go. This was Dark Ascension, right? Am I getting that uh, symbol right? Dark Ascension? Don't remember. Pretty sure that's Dark Ascension. It's in the Strahd block. You'll let me know. Well, I'll know by the time I'm posting the pricing on the screen. But there we go. That was today's mail day. Let me know what you thought in the comment section down below. My art choices or my foil choices. 
and what you would have selected instead. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you enjoy my content in general, please subscribe, hit the notification bell, follow me on Twitter, Facebook, share my content on social media, watch it start to finish like you're doing right now. All that stuff really does help me out a lot. It goes a really long way. So thank you. If you want to become a patron, check out the Patreon link in the description of this video. Check out the Patreon rewards program. Basically, you give me money. I open up sealed product with that money and I give you back that money in the form of rares and mythics. So you make your money back more or less and then some. So check it out. It's all there on Patreon. Thanks and have a good one. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you enjoy my content in general, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. It really goes a long way to help me out a lot. If you want to become a member here on YouTube, hit that join button, which should be in and around that subscribe button. Check out the different membership tiers and the different perks you get at each tier. You know, I'd love to have you as part of my YouTube community officially as a member. And I think the membership tiers are pretty interesting, have some cool little features in there. So check it out, I would really appreciate your support. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, share my content on social media, watch my content start to finish like you're doing right now. It really does go a long way, so thank you for that. Lastly, if you want to become a patron, check out the Patreon link in the description of this video. Check out the Patreon Rewards Program. In a nutshell, you give me money every month. I use that money to buy sealed product, which I open up on this channel, and then I give you back that money in the form of rares and mythics at the end of every year. The longer you're a patron, the more rares and mythics you get. Basically, one rare mythic for every month that you're a patron. And the value of those rares are anything really between $3 and $15. Some of them go even higher, as you know. So even if you average out about $5, a month, $5 per rare, that's 5 a month, you get your money back, but odds are you'll make more. Anyway, all that information is on Patreon. There's a video on there that explains it all. We really appreciate your support. Either way, thanks and have a good one.